know that my muscle, aka my matchup that I received in the trade for uh, Drowsy, has reached level 17 now. But I have actually gone to the daycare to drop off my polywag whilst I go off and train my muscle up a little bit more. So I'm going to go to the gym, beat all the trainers before the gym leader, and then I'm going to pop back out, go out of Golden Rod, battle a few more trainers, just trying to get him as high as possible because I really can't be affording for Mashop to die within the um, the gym battle because he's our best hope at beating Mill Tank, who's a normal type Pokemon because he's got fighting type moves. So anyway, here we are. I'm just going to talk to this old man here, so because he's offering us a new egg, so that's why I just switched Poliwag into the bin. Hey trainer, do you want to leave your Pokemon here for us to raise them? Wait, are you the trainer who helped with the mystery egg? George, right? I found another egg right here. I want you to have it since you seem to be very dependable. But there's something odd about this egg. In fact, I called it... It's the Odd Egg. Odd Egg in Cinemars, August 27th. Here, I want you to take it. So fine, I, I get this, this Odd Egg from this guy. But... We're going to drop the odd egg into the bin, get Poliwag back out. And I also caught a Ditto, by the way guys, so I wasted about 5 Pokeballs on that. I don't even know why I got it, I thought it would be a good idea. Obviously it wasn't, because I'm not going to use it. Anyway, so let's put the egg away. We'll get it out at a later, to a later date when we beat Roxanne, the gym leader. Let me raise your Pokemon for you, what do you want of today? Fine, I'll get your fucking number. Leave Pokemon. So we had to get his number to leave a Pokemon. Let's poly. Do you want Dominic or do you want Poliwag? Poliwag. Oh yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll raise uh, Dominic as well. Chuck Dominic in the bin. She's a low level too. Okay. Right, so whilst that's happening, we are going to go up the road and we're going to battle the, the uh, trainers inside the gym and also we're going to go through that head straight in front of us over there go through there battle them trainers and then guys I will be back obviously I didn't want to leave this out because clearly Totodile is evolving so here we go oh my god oh my god has this been updated I've not had an evolution yet my bad oh Congratulations! Your turtle evolved into a croconaur. Isn't that just great news, guys? We need to rush off to the Pokemon Center because basically that happened from battling loads of those gym like trainers within the trainers within the gym because I'm trying to level up this this little fella. As you can see, I've I've taken quite a beating because I haven't been to the Pokemon Center between any of the battles, so they've all just been taking a massive beating. Ghastly and who who died, obviously. Dominique and Poliwag are in the daycare whilst I do all this to level them up a little bit to get them up to 17, 18 sort of level. But now we are going to go to the Pokemon Center. This has been a little update, <laughs> I guess, and uh, heal everyone up. So here's an update, guys. I have battled each and every one of these guys, all of the little picnic people over here, every single one. I've beaten all of the trainers in the gym, apart from the main gym leader, of course, because I'm going to wait to show that to you guys but still my Pokemon matchup is only a level 21 I mean Crocodile's 18, you got Ghastly at 18 and Hooter at 17 but I just looked it up online and Whitney which is her actual name not Roxanne mix up there from uh, that was Pokemon Ruby that I got that mix up from it turns out that she has a level 20 uh, Mil Tank and a level 18 Clefairy so I think I need to do a little bit more training because rollout is very very deadly. Ladies, gentlemen and small children, I present to you the Goldenrod Gym where we will be battling against Whitney, the gym leader. Let's get straight into this. Whitney, as you all are well aware of, is a normal type gym leader. That means I need to use fighting type to take her down because that is super effective against her, ladies and gentlemen. 
So therefore, if I can make it into the middle and find no, that's the, the wrong way. Or we'll make it into the middle, and I will face her with my excellent Machop, Machop who is now a level 21. But she, remember, has a level 20 mill tank, and that is very concerning indeed. I don't think we're going to do it, but this is our only chance. We have to. We have to try our best. This is our team. We got uh, the traded Machop that we got from one of this girl from one of our houses to give her a drowsy. She gave you a, a Machop. So there he is. There he is. I leveled him up from level 12 all the way up to 21 off camera. And this is my beautiful team. These two Pokemon down here are the, obviously the weakest and are going to shoot the bed. They haven't really got too much hope in uh, Hoot Hoot and Ghastly because of their low HP. And Rollout is very scary. My What my technique is going to be is I'm going to go in with Muscle, going to use all his fighting type moves which will definitely kill Clefairy. But then when Miltank, com Miltank comes out I think it's going to get a little bit scary. I mean, I don't know how much Miltank weighs. And she, she looks, in pictures she looks like she weighs a ton. So I'm hoping that um, Muscle's move called Low Kick will do a lot of damage because it, see, a powerful Low Kick that makes the target fall over, that it inflicts greater damage on heavier targets. So I'm hoping that that will do a lot of damage to Miltank, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon is super cute. You want a battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Alright. Scare in it. This is tense. This is tense. Let's kick it off with Karate Chop. Yep, we went first. Great news. Not very effective. Great. Now we we now know that we have to. That did a lot of damage. That we we now know that we have to use Machop Machop second. Because I didn't know that this isn't a normal type Pokemon. It seems to be like a dark type, which isn't good. Right, all we're going to do right here, we're going to switch in. We'll, right, we'll use Nidoran just as like a damage absorber. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, that's good to use that because that gives me a chance to use my potion as well. Super potion. Right, get my chop, my chop back up there. Alright, then we'll just use this little fella to call it. Just kill it. Just kill the neither end. I don't care. Just kill it. There we go. Alright. So it's been a shit start. Muscle's back out. I, di I didn't even choose to be for Muscle to be back out there. So switch that out. Bring in uh, Quackanore. Our newly leveled up Pokemon. Newly evolved, I mean. It says double slap, so ideally it should double means two, so but it hits three times doesn't make any sense. Anyway, go in with the uh, water gun. Great. Here we go again, the illogical move. But it hits three times rather than two. Let's try Blizzard. Great news. Right. Now this is where shit gets serious. Seismic Toss? Yeah, I'm learning that. What does that do? 1. The target is thrown using the power of gravity and inflicts damage equal to the user's level. Uh. Get rid of it here. There it is. Alright. What should we do? Should we throw in a, 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 a mud slap, get his accuracy down? Let's do that. Wow. Alright, let's, let's switch out. Let's switch ga right, Ghastly. Try and put Ghastly and then we'll use Hypnosis. Oh, here he comes. Oh, I missed. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, I should have used Curse. 
Oh no. Yes, yes, use curse. Here we go. Pokemon. Oh, I think we have to keep him in actually. I think we have to keep Ghastly in to, for curse to do its effect. Hey, woke, woke up, boy. That mud slap did some damage. The curse. Go on, the curse. Oh, great. Go back to sleep. Okay, okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. the curse. The curse is on it. Dickhead. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, right. Good, well planned. Alright. Uh, locate because he's heavy. Oh, it's not effective. Curse. Yep. Like this is an easy battle. We got this in the bag, lads. We got it in the bag. Game over. Game over. I thought that was going to be a hard battle, but the team just helped me out. Crocodile's leveled up. Muscle got shit loads of XP, and there we go. <laughs> You're mean. You shouldn't be so serious. You. You child, you! I'm the one crying, but you're the child. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you me! Oh no! You made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. <laughs> what? What do you want? A badge? Oh, right. I forgot. Here's the plain badge. Plain, plain badge. Let your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. It also boosts your Pokemon speed. Oh, you can have this too. The M45. It's a tract. It makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. It <laughs> the game is broken. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie? Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We beat the gym leader. Whoop whoop. And it wasn't even a long battle. I thought it was going to go on for ages, but it was actually easier than I thought it'd be. So that's great news. Look at the party, the legendary party. There they are, Ghastly and Nidoran. Got Ghastly, you did a good job. Ghastly is the hero of the team. Man of the match goes to Ghastly for using Curse. Took one for the team. Helped us out. I don't know how much damage um, Low Kick would have done by itself, but Curse definitely did help out.